in a yata can sound to do here, you care about to be, and cheat there the ten cent and other, you ship jail, and you ship jail the ten, eh? You give the jay, Tare, Tare ship the Tare, Nego Layan, the Kanda, you give, and the Devon Nego Mebeg, you give Nero D, that you can actually give any new Tare or it. In a, and it's a game, uh, put on your own shit down ever say, D, and you give my door. I don't know, baby. ตาเวเกเนชิตุชอยชาเดโยเรดีอันซาตะโซเปชูเวเนอามีตาตงบะญินเซดีดิเกนติเนียตุกันตะงะเพนเนียตุมะญูจิตุบะเดวะเชเว
director of Central Institute of Buddhist Studies, Wangchuk Negila, Honorable Minister for Tourism and Culture, Jammu and Kashmir, Navarbibs and Jorak, Honorable Executive Councilors, Honorable NFC Councilors, other distinguished guests, scholars, and distinguished participants. It is a matter of great pleasure that the Central Institute of Buddhist Studies is organizing a seminar on Madhamika. I hope the occasion will help enrich the knowledge of Madhamika, the important tradition of Mahayana Buddhist philosophy founded by Nagarjuna. As a naive layman in the realm of Buddhist religion, Madhyamika, as I understand, is a Sanskrit word meaning middle way associated with the Mahayana stream of Buddhist thought that developed in the form of commentaries on the works of Nagarjuna, who flourished around 2nd century C. There are varying interpretations and scholastic analysis of the term which I hope to listen and learn today from erudite scholars. Buddhism is known for its middle path, that which neither promotes extreme asceticism nor absolute self-indulgence, yet still leads to nirvana. Deeper understanding of the realms of spirituality assumes greater significance in the context of the present world, which is confronted with violence, crime, wars, and disasters. We cannot recall a single day without a report of something terrible happening somewhere. The world is increasingly getting aggressive. The very existence of the universe is in grave jeopardy. Peace among people and nations remain elusive. Why the human beings are thirsty of each other's blood? Why the earth has grown into a big battleground? Why can't we see prosperity and happiness in others' lives? One prime factor of all these painful happenings, in my opinion, is our inability to make religious and cultural values relevant in our daily life, our failure to strive to cultivate in ourselves the principles and teachings to be put in our day-to-day -day practice. Of the, of the majority of the problems we face today, as we know, are of our own making created by misunderstanding due to ignorance. Religion strengthens men's character through the cultivation of ethical and moral values, provides him with a code of conduct for a safe voyage for himself and for all living beings. But religion today's world has been seen as an act of rites and rituals directed towards fulfilling one's unquenchable thirst and the insatiable hunger leading to more suffering. The need of the heart is to make religious and cultural values relevant in one's daily life and to strive to cultivate in ourselves compassion, love and tolerance through the middle way approach to attain happiness and secure liberation from the cycle of birth and death. Different religions, ideologies and political systems of the world are meant for achievement of happiness for human beings. It is imperative that people start living in a positive manner, man one's own ways through bringing in inner reforms in one's own self. I wish these kind of workshops, seminars, must not confine solely to scholastic learning, debates and discourses on intricacies of the religion, but more importantly, it also needs to be directed towards understanding and realization by the practitioners of the relevance and importance of the practical applicability of the religion in real life of all human beings. Because we know today the very survival of humanity is at stake and peace deserves a chance. I have nothing more to add, but before I close, I must both share a statement by a modern scientist who said, I quote, it is good for us to see that the animal within us dies.
so that men within us can lead. Unquote. I thank the organizers for having given me opportunity to express my views in presence of scholars, academicians, and followers of Buddhist teachings on a subject I hardly have any knowledge. I wish the seminar a grand success. Thank you once again. Matan, Revival vision, revival dinner, plus the test of Shino. Renaissance, Tavo revival, the government, part of the team. It's all in this door. Some Shima time, Niman Pa, Hindu Man Pa's cup of the Noha, Aristotle Monastic University, Purinan, then Jonte, three cabets of the time, Mimos Mulla, Karaska, Salimetro. Tavo is too much in the dam.